Hey YouTube, Scoutmaster here. Just wanted to get back with everyone. Kind of let you know what's been going on. I am in Greenville, South Carolina. On my way to Oconee State Park. Gonna do uh, some hiking on the Foothills Trail today and tomorrow do an overnighter. And I just want to kind of bring everybody along and kind of give you an update. First thing first, first thing first, I'd like to introduce you to Hudson. Hudson is a Pomsky. He is a four month old Pomsky, which is half Pomeranian, half Husky. So we got Hudson back in May. We had our, our old dog Gunner, the German Shepherd that I had. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away back in early May. He had cancer. He was nine years old. We had to uh, had to put him put him to sleep. So um, we uh, went ahead and uh, got another dog. We just couldn't be couldn't be without a dog. So we got uh, Hudson, who at that time was a about a nine or ten week old Pomsky. So we are up here this weekend in Greenville visiting my mother-in-law. So. Me and Hudson decided we're going to head on over to Coney State Park today on Saturday and uh, try to get some miles in. Uh, Hudson has never hiked before, so this will be his first inaugural uh, hike. So we're going to see how he does. As far as mileage, I don't know how many miles we'll do today. We'll just see. We're going to play it by ear, see how Hudson does. I do plan on spending the night in the woods, so I've got my uh, tent, and we're gonna go ahead and sleep in the tent. So we'll see how that goes, and then hike back out tomorrow morning and head back to my mother-in-law's house. All right, here we are. Foothills Trail Western Terminus. This is a Coney State Park. There, Coney State Park, here it is. 76.2 miles to Table Rock. That's the eastern terminus. Here's the trail. Uses white blazes, just like the AT. There's Hudson. Hudson, what do you think? He's liking this. He's got his little harness. All new smell. So we'll see how it goes. We'll get you some views, hopefully. Hudson, he's pulling. Trying to get some miles in. He's got the leash stretch. Whoop. Got a smell. Smelled something. All right, let's go, bud. Here you go. It's off to the races. It's like a skunk from behind. All right, here we go. We just met a few minutes ago. We just met some people hiking. They had a husky with them. So Hudson got to meet a full-blooded husky. So far, he's been doing great. He's got a lot of energy. Stays on trail. Every once in a while, he'll stop and sniff, but not too often. Let's see what kind of stamina he has. But it's about high 70s. It's not too bad. A little humid. Uh, but a lot better than it's been last few days. It's been real hot last few days. So hopefully it'll stay like this. It's overcast. It's only about a 10% chance of rain. So we shouldn't get rain. Hopefully the overcast kind of stays. That'll keep us a lot cooler. All right. White Blaze. Hudson's checking stuff out. He's really good pace. He's probably at a over a two and a half mile an hour pace the first the first mile. So um, good pace. Where you going, bud? Checking stuff out? Ah, he's exploring a little bit. All right, Hudson, let's go. 
He sees something down there. He wants to get down there. All right, let's go. We got some more hiking to do. Let's go. We got a view coming up. Let's go find the view. Kind of kicks it into high gear when he gets a bit of a hill pulling. So that's good. See how, how much energy he has at the end of the day. You can sense the view that's coming up. It's kind of picked up the pace. This stretch that we're doing really doesn't have, uh, it's mostly woods. So there's not many view. This is about, this might be the only view we got uh, today, but we'll see. What you doing, bud? Huh? Come on, let's go. Let's go get that view. Go get the view. Huh. You're doing good. We take a break at the view. We'll get some food and some water. You can kind of see right through there. That's where our view is going to be. It's right through those trees. But if I remember correctly, there's kind of a a little rocky opening you come up to where you can kind of catch a nice view. So far, no bugs, which is nice. And you got a little bit of a breeze. That feels nice. It's still just going to be in the high 70s with the humidity. Um, you can just sweat a lot. Especially trying to keep up with his pace. You now he's he's behind a little bit now, but he's still moving pretty good. So our plan is there's a campsite, small primitive campsite, about 3.6 miles in, and then there's one at about 8.1. So my plan is to go. You know, at least to the 3.6. See how he's doing. See how he feels. And uh, if we can, we'll push on to the 8.1. And then we'll just come back out tomorrow. That's the plan. Spend the night, come back out tomorrow. So we got on trail about 12.47 p.m. So, you know, we, we, we got plenty of time to do the 8 miles. As long as... Uh, yeah, I just want to be at camp by uh, 5, 530 the latest. So that gives us plenty of time to uh, hike, take breaks, you know, see how he's doing. So as far as hiking during the pandemic, uh, I had to work from home a lot. So what I did was I would go into the office three days a week. My office is about four miles from my house. So what I would do four, three days a week, I'd throw my pack on, load it down, and I'd walk the four miles to work. I'd check mail, do some stuff at work for a few hours, and throw my pack back on and hike back home. So I uh, actually got a good bit of road hiking in during the pandemic. And I also did some other hikes um, stuff like that. So I did do a hike back in May, a little like nine, nine to 10 mile, uh, in and out hike, nine in, nine out, uh, with a couple classmates of mine. So I've been trying to get out, get some hikes in. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty this trail is kind of like the AT. It reminds me a lot of the AT as far as the AT in the south. Um, and it's a really good, it's a really good trail. This end of it, the western end, um, isn't too crazy with elevation. I mean, it has it, but it isn't you know, anything too bad. But the eastern end's got some good climbs on it. So anybody that lives in the north... You know, southern North Carolina, northern South Carolina area. 
you know, if you're doing AT or want to do the AT, I recommend the foothills as a good training ground. Like I said, it's about a 76, 77 mile from end to end. So it's a good shakedown hike to do before you do the AT. That's what I did. I did it in uh, the first week in January, you know, about three weeks, three, four weeks before I hit the AT. And I had all my gear with me that I was taking on the AT. So it was a great way to kind of test out every piece of gear that I had, you know, all at once. I'd been testing it out, you know, throughout the months as I got stuff, but that was the first time I really had everything together. But really cool, really, really nice hike. Oh, Hudson's wrapped around me. Let me spin around here. All right, Hudson, up the bridge, come on. There you go, come on. There you go. He's like, I don't know about this thing. All right, come on. It's your first bridge. So I think our view was what I showed you through those trees. I think uh, I'd never done this part in the uh, summertime. I'd only done it like wintertime and early, early spring where the trees weren't, you know, fully grown out yet. So I think that's that would have been my view right there. What I showed you through those trees. I think in the summertime it's kind of covered up. So, so we pretty much got woodsy views. But that's okay. Still cool views. Look how green everything is. Remember it took a long time on my AT through hike to see, you know, woods this green. Haven't started in January. So it's kind of nice to see all the green. All right, here we are. We took a little break, about a 10 minute break. Took the pack off. Uh, Hudson and I had some beef jerky and some water. So we're good to go. Took a little five, ten minute break. Uh, and now we're just moseying through past the small little campsite. Enough for one tent, which was kind of cool. So, worst comes to worst. We can always hike you know, as far as we want. Turn around and go back and hit that. Um, and then have a short hike in the morning. But probably won't do that. We'll just see how far we get. You can see, whoops, B right there. Let me turn you around and show you the trail. You see this is pretty cool. Like I said, this section is pretty, I don't want to say level, but you're just kind of small little rolling hills. Playing in the water. You hit a leaf. That was stuck on a rock and it started going down the stream and he wanted to chase it. Come this way, Hudson. So, check out this campsite. This is right off the side of the trail. There's space here for multiple tents, but the trail's right up there. Let's go up this way, Hudson. So, here's the trail right up here. I said this campsite is right off the trail, right by that stream. So, we'll see. We'll go up further, see how we're doing. Worst kinds of worse, we'll turn around. Come back uh, to this campsite, and then we'd be 3.6 away tomorrow, 3.7 away tomorrow. So I don't know, we might do that. We'll see. It is 2.30, so we'll hike for at least another 45 minutes, see where we get to. All right, here we are, still going strong. We're over six miles in. 
plan is to go 8.1 to that campsite. So he's doing great. Not complaining one bit this way, bud. You gonna go up, up over these rocks. Check this out. Yeah, I come over these rocks. There you go. He's doing great. It's, feels like the humidity is a little bit better and there's a slight breeze. So that feels good. Right now we're not climbing or anything. So we'll do the 8.1. I don't think we're gonna have a problem. We should be there 45 minutes or less. Just moving at a good pace. And at this campsite, I've stayed there before. There's a uh, a pretty good stream. So we'll ha we got a water source there, which will be good. Make some. Uh, we we'll get there. We'll set up camp. Make a little bit of dinner. I know Hudson will be looking forward to that. And then we're just going to chillax. We probably, probably will do a campfire. Build a little campfire. Why not? Help keep the bugs away. Let's see if anybody else is there. Did pass some campers at that, that campsite that was like at 3.6 or whatever it was or four, or I don't know. Um, it was a campsite. Um, maybe around the mile, the, the mile marker five. And um, there was somebody camping there. But it's only 4.03 right now. So we'll be, we'll be at camp 4.30, 4.45. So still plenty of daylight and everything. We'll have about four hours of daylight, so. But with breaks and everything, if we get there at 4.45, that'll be a, a four hour hike with breaks and just at 8.1 miles, so a two mile an hour pace with breaks. We took, you know, about three breaks so far, so good pace. All right, here we are at camp. We actually stopped at the 6.2, 6.3 mile mark. You can see Hudson down there, chilling out, cooking some dinner. Uh, we stopped because it started getting a little dark, real windy, and a couple of raindrops. I thought for a second we were gonna get poured on, and we were literally coming down, right down through there and came across this awesome campsite. Right down there is the creek. You go down the trail, just, you know, 50 feet, and you got access to the creek for water. So I figured we'd just stop at 6.2, 6.3 today. Um, it, was, it was after four, so I figured we'd stop, make sure we got the tent up so we wouldn't freeze, um, get rained on, and, um, just set up camp and eat. That's what we're doing. So tomorrow we'll have 6.3 out. And we did that in uh, three hours with breaks. So good job. Good job, Hudson. Hudson, good job on your first hike, bud. He's just chilling out, listening to the birds. All right, everybody, it is Sunday. It is about 6.45 in the morning. We are back on trail. So, did real well last night, had a good camp spot. Probably hit the, uh, hit the bed about, I don't know, 7.15, we got in the tent. We had a good night, didn't rain. Uh, probably got up about 5.30 this morning. So uh, Hudson did real well in the tent. So, so far, good job hiking and camping for Hudson. All right, I figured I'd show you a little bit of what we're walking through. 
As you can see, we're just, just moseying. It's real peaceful through here. All you hear is the occasional bird. All right, there goes Hudson. He's back in the lead. So what he does is he'll take point and lead the way. And then he'll drop back and walk about a foot behind me and just let me take the lead for a while. And then he'll shoot back in the lead every once in a while. So <clears throat> as you can see, the trail is well manicured. See out there in the winter time, you get somewhat of a view out there. But now summertime with all the leaves grown in, you don't get it. There's some uh, on the eastern part of this trail, there's, uh, there's some really good uh, views. You actually hit the highest point in South Carolina, Sassafras Mountain. That's kind of early on. That's about nine or ten miles in if you start on the east side. Um... And then there's uh, several waterfalls you pass. Uh, Lake Jocassi. There's, um, there's also uh, the, um, you also walk along one of the rivers and you cross for, for part of the time you cross into North Carolina. And then there's uh, one portion where when you're at the river, basically the other side of the river is Georgia. So you're kind of bordering North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia along this trail. All right, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, we only wound up going 6.1. Like I said, I thought it was gonna rain, but it never did. It, it's just a couple drops hit us. And then by the time I got the tent put up, everything calmed down. So, but it was one of those things I didn't want to get stuck, you know, getting rained on trying to put up a tent with the dog and all that. So, oh well, had a real nice campsite. And, uh, you know, I, do, I wanted to get at least five miles in on him, see how he did on a five mile hike. So he got six in and uh, he'll get another six today, 6.4 actually. So, it'll be a total round trip of 12.8 over two days for him. So, he's only four months old. So, that's good. I'm happy with that. So, apparently Hudson likes playing in the water. He just wants to get his feet wet. That's all. Hudson, we're done with the hike, driving back. So here we are driving back, uh, finish up the hike. So 6.4 yesterday, 6.4 today, the last half a mile or so he was dragging me. I was almost having to run. Uh, I guess he could sense the, uh, the, the parking lot, so. So all in all, really good hike, really good uh, overnighter. And I give Hudson an A plus for his uh, his work this weekend. So hopefully uh, we'll get out and do some more hiking in the next month or so. And if we do, we'll make sure we make videos.